Hey everyone, I'm Megan Ahrens, Senior Technical Consultant at Glidefast, and today I wanted to cover the new content governance feature for content publishing and content experiences. It provides an easy way for content requesters to request content to be created, track the progress, preview the content, and approve it before it's published. To request content, navigate to the Employee Center Pro Portal and search for the content request form there. When you get to the form, it will ask you to specify the type of communication that you would like to schedule. You have a choice between portal, mobile, to do, or other. I'm going to choose portal. What type of content do you need for your communication? You can choose banner, video, or other. I'm going to choose banner. And which employees should see your communication? I want all active employees or all active users to be able to see my communication. There's fields for start and end date. If you don't put a start and end date, your content will always be available. But I'm going to set my start date to yesterday so that it's available for today. And I'm going to set my end date to November 15th. Under please add any additional information about your communication is where you're going to put what you want your communication to hold. So I'm just going to copy and paste my information. I want a heading text, body text, and then I want a call to action button. I'm just going to say call to action button text. If you do have a button within your communication, it's going to ask you for the URL. I'm just going to add a fake URL to this. And because this is a banner communication, I'm also going to add an image because a banner will take in a background image. All right, once that's added, I will go ahead and submit. And this takes me directly to my request wrap up and I can see that the state is new. Now I'm going to end my impersonation and because I am a content manager, I should now be able to see content governance. So as a content admin, when I navigate to content governance, I will be able to see the requests that come in. So I'm gonna go ahead and click into unassigned. Here I can see the request that Able Tutor just put in. Our request wrap up is going to show us all of the variables that we filled out as Able Tutor, and it's also go going to allow me to view the attachment that was added to. I'm going to go ahead and assign this request to myself, and I'm going to set the state into work in progress and save it so that Able is able to see that we are working on this request. To continue working on this request, I'm going to go into the content request item. You'll see that there's a content field. If you do not have content already created for your request, you'll have to go ahead and go over to content publishing and create that content before you can attach it onto this requested item. But for demo purposes, I've created it beforehand. So I'm going to click into tech event notice. I'd like to assign this request item to myself. And again, set it to work in progress and save. Now that I've done that, I can go ahead and I can schedule the content. So I'm going to click new. You'll see tech event notice is the content attached. And then the title will take from that content. The content location is the service portal. And now I'm going to choose what page I want it to go on. So I want it to go to the on the EC Pro dashboard. And then I'm going to choose my widget instance. So I'm choosing content experience header. And now I need to choose an audience. So we decided we wanted this to be visible to active users. And then if I wanted someone to approve this, I could add them here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add myself as an approver. Obviously, normally you would add it as someone else, someone that isn't you. Availability start date, I think we said, Start date will be the 20th and the end date will be November 15th. I'm going to go ahead and save this and publish with approval. I was taken back to the content request item. An easy way to get to the approval is going to be back on that scheduled content record. You'll see the state of the approval is in requested and I am the approver. I'm going to click into it and go ahead and approve. And then I'm going to 
go back to the request I just opened. And then go into the request item that I just opened. And because it was approved, I will go ahead and publish it. Okay, publishing that this content request item goes ahead and activates the schedule content record. So now we should be able to see this content. So let's go take a look at it. On the Employee Center Pro homepage, I'm going to reload. This is the EC Pro dashboard where we put our content. We should now be able to see our register for our upcoming tech event content. Our header, we have our body text, the button that we specified in the request, and then the background image. So that's how you use content governance. And that's what I wanted to show you today. Thanks for joining.